Wow, did I just have some fun. I just had the opportunity to interview Dr. David Sinclair for our February issue 2011 of Functional Medicine Update. You know David, I'm sure, by name. Uh, he is the father of this whole resveratrol revolution, uh, Department of uh, Pathology at uh, Harvard Med, um, associate professor there. But he's really also the uh, one of the co-founders of this concept of xenohormesis and how phytochemicals modulate function to produce uh, a resistance to senescence and uh, resist the uh, age-related diseases. And it's a really fascinating discussion I had with him about the whole landscape of molecular gerontology and how it's changing the, the whole concept of uh, healthy aging, uh, rectangularizing the survival curve, uh, maximizing life expectancy, extending functionality. Uh, what are we learning? What threshold are we on? What's the, uh, the nature of this shifting paradigm? What a talk uh, we had. What an extraordinary uh, discovery process, a uh, shifting of our whole belief system about the rigidity of uh, life expectancy to this plastic model, this extraordinarily modifiable model that has to do with the role that stress and environment and, and uh, nutrition and exercise and respiration and uh, uh, even the psychological nature of our life uh, plays in regulating these master genes that control outcome of our function and how to harness this in a healthy aging program and, and uh, you know, get rid of reducible illness and uh, extend life expectancy. This is one of those issues that just is going to stand up to be landmark and it plays off the extraordinary pioneering issues with Randy Jertel and Michael Skinner and Moshe Sev and, and uh, Edward Calabrese and others that really have set the tone over the last two years in Functional Medicine Update for us really seeing where this new medicine of the 21st century is taking us. I think you're really going to enjoy the February issue of Functional Medicine Update.